Hi darlings and welcome to a new video as part of the Fashion Mumbler Autumn Edit. Yesterday we had Autumn Basics and today we have another haul, this time it is Autumn Investment Pieces. So as you can probably guess from the title and from the thumbnail, I've been doing a little bit of shopping in a few of my favourite stores and these are stores on the premium end of the high street, so price and quality, emphasis on the quality, is just a little bit higher than those typical high street stores. Some of my favourite premium high street retailers include Reese, Karen Millen, Ted Baker, Club Monaco, Kate Spade, Tory Burch and I have a few of those retailers in today's video. Now when it comes to autumn investment pieces these are the pieces that I foresee myself getting a lot of use out of. They're often very classic, neutral pieces that are going to be on trend year after year. And if you've seen my planning my autumn wardrobe video that I'll leave linked down below, you'll see that I went through my wardrobe and my autumn pieces from not just one but two and three years ago and it was nearly every single time the pieces from these more premium retailers that I was getting so much use out of even years later. So the price per wear on these is always amazing and I always think that if you want to look a little bit more polished, a little bit more expensive then it's a really good idea to look to these premium retailers because I do believe that with classic pieces you absolutely get what you pay for. So without further ado let's do some unboxing and actually it was only yesterday that I was in the Club Monaco store on Sloan Square. Um, it's a great store and actually there was a sale going on at the moment if you loved my ruffle um, grey jumper that I wore during my autumn winter 2018 trends video that is on the sale and they had some lovely cashmere cardigans but actually my cashmere cardigans from last year are still going very strong so I didn't pick up anything in the sale this was from the new autumn winter collection and I did a poll on my Instagram stories and I think like 99% of people said I should buy it so you guys are to blame <laughs> So here is the top. First of all, you'll notice that it is in a very neutral shade, not too dissimilar to the jumper that I'm wearing now. And as I said, that's because with these higher price point pieces, I want to get maximum wear out of them. I want them to go with so many different things in my wardrobe, whether that's a pair of denim jeans, a high-waisted skirt. I want my investment pieces to be super versatile. So I always go, or 99% of the time, I go for neutral shades that I know will just slot seamlessly into my wardrobe. So this piece is almost like a batwing cape jumper. I'm not sure the official name of this, but it has got a loose cowl high neck. It's got very wide open sleeves, and then it's almost like a tunic in shape, a very, very simple boxy silhouette, a little bit casual and relaxed, but because it is so beautifully made, it does look very polished. It looks lovely with a pair of white jeans. That's what I was wearing it with yesterday when I tried it on in the store. So let me now again show you how it looks on. Another store that I went into yesterday on Sloan Square again was Kate Spade. I'm a huge fan of Kate Spade. I just love everything about the brand. It's so bright and fun and playful. And yes, the price points are more premium, but this is something that I think I will get a lot of wear out of, even though it's not a neutral piece because I love getting dressed up in girly dresses for lunch dates, for evening dinners, things like that. So hopefully this is still quite a classic piece, will not go out of fashion next year or the year after. So nice that things come in the um, garment bags as well. And here it is. I actually spotted this when I went to Kate Spade in New York and I adored it, but I didn't pick it up in New York because they did not have my size in store, but they had it in Sloan Square, so I thought it was meant to be. This for me is the perfect autumn dress while the temperatures are still quite mild I'll be able to wear this in the daytime perhaps with some knee-high boots in fact I do have the perfect pair I will show you those in my try on clips it's very uh, fitting at the waist I love the ruffle detail I love the color it is still kind of a neutral color it's not crazy and bold and out there it's not particularly um, focused on any one trend just all the design details that I love such as ruffles lovely lightweight material and a very feminine silhouette so again I'll show you how I style this so actually I wanted to include the boots that I styled the dress with because even though I don't know if I'd call it a premium retailer, it's definitely more of an investment piece for autumn and it is this pair of boots from Dune. These are for me the perfect autumn boots, a 
lovely, very wearable colour. Not as traditional as brown or black or beige boots. They are almost like a lilac-y colour, but only a very neutral toned lilac, so they will go with a lot of things in my wardrobe. A really good heel height that I can wear all day long, lots of support around the ankle, and they're perfect for this time of year when you do want a little bit of warmth on your legs. You don't want to be going totally bare-legged, but you're not quite ready to put your legs away quite just yet. So these are new in from Dune. And then also from Dune, this pair of flat mules, which I absolutely am in love with. You guys know that I really, really love Gucci mules, but I'm not quite prepared to spend the amount of money on the Gucci mules with the fur on the insoles. I have a couple of pairs without the fur. Um, also, I think that Gucci use kangaroo fur, which I don't know how I feel about that. Um, so anyway, Dune have this amazing pair of dupes, but also they're just the most gorgeous flat mule shoes for wearing at this time of year. I've already worn these so much. I wore them throughout the weekend when I just wanted something really cosy and easy to slip on but still very chic looking and they really do look fabulous on. The two people stopped me in the street to ask where they were from and loads of people spotted them in my Club Monaco trying on Instagram stories and loved them. So now you know they are from Dune. I will leave these and everything that I feature and wear in this video linked down below if you'd like to shop any of them. And the rest of the items in this video unsurprisingly are from Reese. It is definitely my go-to retailer when it comes to investment pieces that are classic stand the test of time and amazing quality. The first of which is this very classic jumper. I mean, when is this ever gonna go out of fashion? Never, never, ever, ever. It is just the perfect classic knit, high neck, so really nice and cozy and warm. Uh, no detail whatsoever on the sleeves, not even a cuff at the bottom, just a plain knit, beautiful quality, gorgeously warm and soft, so this is going to be the kind of thing that you wear over and over again in autumn and winter with my thermal underneath, underneath the jacket. It's just timeless, need I say any more. This is actually something that I've had for a few months, but I wanted to show it again because it's so gorgeous. This is my snake print leather skirt from Reese. Again, just the most gorgeous statement piece for an autumn wardrobe with a cozy knit like the one that I just showed you. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. If you, like me, are obsessed with the snake print trend this autumn winter, then this is a really lovely premium way of wearing it. And again, with over knee boots, this would look absolutely gorgeous. I like to get my basics from Reese as well because I know that they're just such good quality and I picked up this it's almost like a lemon color it looks cream but it's very very slightly yellow toned it's just a vest top it has got um, this very lovely kind of silky strap and then like a I'm not really sure what you'd call this at the top like a sheer scallop detail really really pretty great for layering if you've got a jumper that maybe hangs over the shoulder or a cardigan um, and you just want something lovely to pop on underneath then this is absolutely perfect price wise it was 110 pounds but as i said with basics you get what you pay for this is a kind of thing that you'll wear many many times so well worth splurging that little bit more on then we have another cozy knit this time with a more um cow do you call this a cowl neck roll neck polo neck i never know the definition of the necks but I had this in grey last year and I wore it so much the grey colour that when I saw it come out in this pinky lilac colour I thought that I absolutely had to invest. I would not recommend keeping this kind of jumper on a wire hanger this is just for demonstration purposes because it will uh, create a little even just from a couple of hours you can see it's created a bit of shape in the shoulders but this is a really lovely, loose fit, very cosy, casual, but again, because it's so beautifully made, it still looks very polished and very smart. If you want to dress this up, I would recommend perhaps with some brown leather leggings. You could even wear it tucked into a pair of high-waisted trousers or dress it down with perhaps a pair of jeans, some white denim. This would look very, very chic. I also wanted something a little bit smarter for work meetings, days when I need to look a little bit more polished, so I decided to try out this pair of trousers. I love the colour of these. So like an apricot, um, apricot pinky colour, almost like a brownie apricot, so very, very wearable. And I feel like with Reese trousers, once you know your size, once you know your fit, they're all cut in a very similar way, so you can be quite confident that you've got the correct size. This I would pair with perhaps the lemon camisole top with a chunky knit or even with a silky t-shirt for a more office appropriate outfit. If you do work in an office environment and this is the kind of thing you can wear for your work uniform, you're going to be wearing it every day, so that price per wear is absolutely justifiable. These are £130. If you wear them 10 times, that's £13 a wear, which I think is very, very good, and you're more likely to wear them a lot more than that if you are wearing them for a work outfit. So again, let me show, let me show you how these look on. 
I always get so excited at this time of year when Reese start to bring out their autumn winter coats because they are they are the best retailer when it comes to coats. They have the best quality, the best cut, and I think the prices are actually not that bad at all. This coat was £335 and initially, yes, that sounds like a lot of money, but in the autumn and winter months, the coat is the part of your outfit that people see first. In fact, often when you're walking around, it's the only part of your outfit that people see, as well as your handbag, so definitely worth investing in. And as I've said a million times before, it's totally classic. This is not going to go out of fashion. Reese, as a retailer, generally bring very similar things back in year after year with just very small design detail changes. And once again, because it is a neutral colour, this will go with so many things in my wardrobe. I sound like a stuck record, but those are my reasons for investing in this type of garment. I'm so excited to show you how this looks on. I'm sure you'll agree. It's just so classic and um, absolutely beautiful. And then my final investment piece from Reese. I've actually not tried this one yet, so I'm so excited to see what it looks like. This is a midi length wool skirt. I think this is just such a beautiful thing to have in your wardrobe at autumn. It looks very feminine, very polished. It's absolutely the look that I want to go for at this time of year. Once again, if you want to look very smart and put together, but still very feminine in the office, then this is a really lovely item to get that look. Footwear wise, I think there are loads of options with this as well. You can wear with knee high boots, court shoes, ankle boots. I think it's very versatile. And again, with more lightweight tops, you could wear it with more of a loose knit like this one, or even with a chunky knit. I think it is surprisingly versatile versatile because of the fabric composition as well this is a very warm piece so with your over knee boots in the winter you could wear thermal tights and this would be great for those chillier mornings so those are my autumn investment pieces I would love to know what you think of these if you think that any of these you might be tempted to invest in as well these are the pieces you can guarantee you'll be seeing me wearing over and over and over again because they really are the building blocks of my autumn wardrobe and I'm so excited for the temperatures to drop a little bit more so I can get even more wear out of them don't forget to check out the description box for the links to all of these pieces and keep an eye on my upcoming videos and vlogs to see how I'm styling them on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me know in the comments section below which item of clothing or which items of clothing you are thinking of investing in this autumn or if you've invested in any already then let me know and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more Fashion Mumbler autumn edit videos. This week is going to be a new autumn fashion video every single evening at five o'clock so stay tuned tuned, have your notification bell turned on so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Spit my coffee on the floor, but I don't really care.